So yeah, we um, we see we start with uh, we see Ed uh, with a a bottle of this uh, uh, Sionis kombucha. Um, you are Cybooch. With... Yeah, Cybooch. I hate it. <laughs> uh, you are in uh in this um this side garage in the yard uh with uh, of course the other the other four rogues present um and adam uh has just brought you all in here because he says that he has a job um and note uh once again adam uh as you were walking in your phone buzzed with a little message from the riddler reading tick tock so Yay. What time is are, it? You are all together. What do you do? It's uh, it's it's getting on to mid evening, so it's probably oh no, you know, I it's, spent it's not all like super day. late, but oh. it's it's probably around eight. Okay, yeah, it's great. So it's cool. So um, what do you do? Okay, so I've got a job. Uh. Sorry, I should do introductions. Hi, I'm dot dot dot. He him. Uh, I'm a graffiti artist. I uh, am also just like a regular artist. Uh, I'm a designer. I uh, am a freelancer. Some other things. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, but. I've got a this job. is notably hilarious because the only person in this room who does not know all of this stuff is Jackie. <laughs> yeah, and I and, and she's she's just sitting there being like, you 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 set yourself to be like, oh, I've got a job for you, and she's already looking at you like you're 13 years old, and now you're doing this, and she's just like, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> um, but I'm imagining that y'all are sitting down on like, there's probably some old like yeah. school style plastic chairs. <laughs> oh no. In in the garage, right? That are that are kind of scattered yeah. around. Yeah, we're in like the little office area. There's like uh, an old vinyl covered poker table, and like yeah, just an assortment of chairs and a fridge full of black mask. And I've I've set the all the the poor little uh, aloe plant down on the poker table. Yeah. Um. But anyway. Um. Okay, so I have a job. I know. You mentioned. I thank you. Um, I know. I said I work for the Riddler. It's kind of not for the Riddler. It's actually kind of against the Riddler. Okay, so uh, you know, like alone in here, right? You don't you have know, to whisper. I don't what is this, trust like a double agent thing. I don't trust anything anywhere. Just, but instincts, one, yes. Just okay. flat out, just don't. Um, uh, Ed, do you remember, uh, like, right before you left for a year and you didn't tell me where you went, and uh, we were working on the Basilisks? Yes. Uh, remember that? I, 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 uh, I remember that. Um, hmm? That was right before I had to, you know, break the boss out of Arkham because he wasn't going to do it. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, so, uh, Hitler is selling those. Selling what? Oh, sorry. I'm losing myself. The, the, um, the snake thing? Oh, okay. You made snakes? No, like, oh, so which ones is he selling? Like all of them. All they're all getting sold. Uh, so God. Basilisk, Wait, like, guys, so... guys, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Can I'm, we I'm gonna explain. To... Basilisk. All right. Yes. Yes. The term basilisk derives from the Greek mythological creature 
uh, said to like turn people to no, stone. Hang on, Kato. I know what a basilisk is. I'm not. Okay, that I didn't know how far back you went. Uh, right, but are you about? Wait, hang on, hang on. Are you about to tell me that Riddler actually has one? Because that no, would be news to no, me. No, it's a it's thing that that I worse. designed with with <laughs> and Ed helps program. What, like a gorgon. Uh, no, like the big of. giant snakes thing. They look it's at like you a chicken. And you all like. Yeah, but wait, I thought what? that was I. Sometimes it's a chicken, sometimes it's a snake. Whatever. This is all semantics. It's, it's just called the fucking basilisk, okay? Uh, so the, the, I, I was working with the Riddler, and I, I'm his art director. I don't know if I said that. Um, oh. And uh, Ed, this is uh, this is news to you. Uh, this is a promotion for Adam. <laughs> wow. Making the big bucks, moving up in the world, huh? That's yes. awesome. The Riddler Thanks. has an art director. They have a, he has an art department. It's true. It was I mean, really not great. The whole, um, you know, the whole brand takes a lot of maintaining, you know? It's just that every time I hear about how he handles his operation, it it's funny. Why do yeah, you think it's, I, uh, it's, it was a lateral move to go into insurance, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. it's... It does kind of feel like he almost runs a non-profit where the only product is fuckery yeah why does he just open a day oh, escape it's, room or something it's a it's a for-profit trust me uh, it is, ab <laughs> it is make... absolutely for profit okay that's how okay. we're gonna get money i'll get to that um so money. the basilisks so the uh, so one day i was i was doing some design work for the riddler and i made a drawing and my head started hurting and then i realized it was because i drew the thing uh, and so I told Riddler about it, and he was like, that's cool, we're gonna keep iterating on this, and so we kept designing them, and basically what I made was a thing where if you look at it, your brain breaks. Like, you, you, like, like, like it's like you short circuit. You Come know? again? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, right? Um. You mean like a drug? No, like, you die. Um. Like, a, Ed, you look at the thing, you just, You don't die. It. Maybe. And that uh, is news to you because when the last time that you were working on this project, Ed, uh, the most that the Basilisk did was full body paralysis. Okay. So okay. they have um, become so substantially more lethal or uh, dangerous since you've worked on them. Progressed. Um... Mm -hmm. We made good, we made good headway. Uh, okay. And, uh, he's, he's selling these, the, the ones. Yeah. That... Wait, how's he, he's selling these things to who? He hasn't fucking told me, but I don't trust whoever fucking bought it. And the important part here is that I'm not getting credit, so I'm stealing it. And also it didn't get credit, I guess. Well, okay. I, d I don't. So are you uh, asking it's... us to do what here exactly? So what we got to do is that all of the all the basilisk shit, okay, it's held in in Riddler servers in our, in our headquarters, okay. Um, it's on drives. It's, it's in the server. Um, uh, so the digital. It, or, no, sorry. I we we moved it all to to drives and yeah. There's no there's nothing installed in the server anymore. We These we are moved like it all. Drawings of snakes. It, it, images, right? They're not images literal, of snakes. They're not literal images, snakes. Sorry, they images. they just fucking kill you. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, so we they're in lock boxes, um, uh, along with some laundered funds. Okay, so uh, we have to make sure that. Uh, so so the idea is that we get all of that shit and then we all split the money, and then I get the bad list. So we're stealing images that can kill you if you look at it. Yeah. For how much money? Money? Yeah. Like, so oh, what, like, what you what you kid. know, Adam, is because you physically brought the uh, you you transferred the lock boxes from your studio to Riddler's secure storage, right? This is the same secure storage where, again, Riddler's very corporate. So this is the same secure storage where he keeps all of his payroll funds. Uh, and so there are, in addition to the Basilisk material in this secure room, um, there are 
boxes of cash uh and it it is this is where after whatever whatever money riddler acquires uh uh from his various illicit pursuits once it gets laundered and it's and it's clean again he he will store it here to pay out uh his his various uh goons employees um so this is a this is a room with a couple of lock boxes of this basilisk stuff, the hard drives that have it on, uh, some physical stuff, uh, printouts, uh, uh, you know, uh, appliques for uh, for for puzzles, um, puzzle like prototypes that use the basilisks, and just a bunch of lock boxes of, as far as you're aware, untraceable cash. And like a lot of it, enough to run, enough to run Riddler's payroll for some period of time. Uh, yeah, and Ed, this sounds this sounds somewhat familiar to you as well. Um, you you know you you would have uh, you may not have ever been to the secure storage, but you're aware that it exists. You're aware that the that Riddler keeps a lot of laundered cash on hand to pay out people's salaries. Um, and also, Ed, for for your information, you worked on the sort of programming side, uh, the the like software engineering uh, and some hardware um, of of this basilisk thing. So you know the way that you are able to deal with basilisk safely is you take this extremely dangerous image that if you look at it, it paralyzes you or apparently now fucking kills you. Um, you want to break that image into pieces and rearrange it such that it is harmless. And Ed, you develop the software that uh, breaks it apart, rearranges it into the harmless version, and then arranges it back into the dangerous scrambler. version. Yep. Yeah, you mm -hmm. called it the scrambler. You developed the scrambler. So that that is information that both of you have. Okay. Um... Lay all that. Scramblers. All right, we got to get our hands on some of those. Um, okay. This, this is, is good fucking money. Yeah. And we definitely want to keep these things out of the... If they're lethal now, um, we definitely... I mean, can you imagine... Can you imagine if the Joker, like, got his hands on something, you know, you can put up and just, boom. Yeah, it doesn't it, sound put great. It up, put it up in, uh, Gotham Square, and, and that's the whole square dead. That's just thousands and thousands. And then the emergency crews who come to clean it up dead, you know, like helicopters, you know, you get a big enough you know, big enough billboard. We're talking. This is the fucking. I mean, the fucking Batman. You know, flying by, looks at it dead. I mean, honestly, he's probably already got scramblers. I mean, so kid who mm, made this um, thing. I I designed it. Yes. And what are you gonna do with it if we can help you get it back? Exactly. And then keep working on it oh you're gonna keep working on it the whole that's point great. is that's that great. i i i can't let someone else take credit for something that i designed and that ed helped program yeah and uh how many people do you want to kill with this thing hmm. this you don't know you don't have a number not yet i mean it could it at least when I was working on it, like, there were, like, you know, we could do other things with it, like, you know, uh, change people's minds and make it, I don't know, or at least so, that, that was me, the, the theory. Fuck, what? You wanna, you wanna take this, maybe run the city a little bit, got any, like, grand plans, taking all that money, taking all that tech? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well then... Uh -huh. My fee might go up just a little bit. Okay, well, there's a there is a limited amount of cash, so that means you're gonna have to determine who gets which percentage of the cut. 
let me rephrase about that fee. Um, we'll split the money, but if we're taking this thing that can literally scramble a person's brains if they stare at it for like less than five seconds, mm -hmm. then I want assurances you're getting rid of it and I want to see it happen. Uh... I think Ed side eyes like uh, Adam, like, oh, <laughs> uh, don't know how that's gonna go. A conflict. I mean, to uh, be I... fair, you did just tell us that you made this thing and how it works. So I want you to think very carefully about how you respond to me, because you seem to know what I can do. Well, oh. let's worry about uh, what we're going to do with it uh, <laughs> once we get our hands on it and we're not having our brains fried by it. So let we can discuss that part later. No. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Because I trust you, Ed. I know whatever you did with the Riddler, that's that's old news. And uh, Ali, obviously, I know is copacetic uh, with, you know, getting money because, you know, God knows we need it. But you, kiddo, you're new. And uh... I don't know you very well. And like you just said, you don't trust people. Guess what? Neither do I. Okay. I will delete the files that kill people. But I'm not deleting everything. I worked fucking hard on those. And Ed put a lot of time into the program and the scrambler. And I'm not going to have two, three years of work just go down the drain without something in my portfolio. Yeah, you're going to sell it to the next highest bidder and then they're going to come back around oh, I'm gonna uh, use to it. the... What do you want to yeah, use it for? Become a villain. I'll become a villain. Look at this kid. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think become Ollie just reaches over. Ollie reaches over and just like slaps, uh, slaps dot 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 on the back, and it's just like, all right. I can see the um, the practical uses of all of this, you know. There's there's so many ways to use these. I I gotta say the what I'm really concerned about. There's a lot of people who want us fucking dead, especially oh, yeah. that fucking clown. And if he gets his hands on something like this, you know, it's not a question of if. It's a question of when. All it takes is can you send somebody this? Can you text somebody this shit? Uh yeah. He I finds like out that. one of our numbers, just sends it. Boop. But Dead. I mean, like, any number of people in this city could do that. I understand the risks of the image. I made the image, I designed the image with that in mind. Right. It's... Yeah, just a casually untraceable, unstoppable, uh, potentially... the Instantaneous You can kill, kill people I like a bomb. I already agreed like to scalpel. delete the file that insta-kills you. And we'll I be there to out. see this. Yes, you will yes. see me delete it off of the, off of whatever drive it's on. Okay. Does, Is it only uh, on one drive? Yes. I moved the files myself. Right. That I uh, I believe a hundred percent. I mean, we'll have to. It's been a while since I've worked on it. Does the uh, if you delete the. The kill agent, does that, like, affect all of the, you know, basilisks? Or do you have to go through one by one? Because... Just so we're all- we got all our cards on the table here, sorry. Uh, dot dot dot, but... You know. Okay. David. Yep. So... All of the different basilisks we have designed, are they uniquely labeled as to, and like directly labeled which one is which? Yeah, I think you have code names for them. Okay. You know, it, it's not like uh, it's not like basilisk O one final final version <laughs> two final uh, yeah. <laughs> dash this one kills you, but it's like uh, you know. Uh, that's the, that's gotta RIP. be the 
That's got to be the name of the episode. <laughs> Dash this, this final mile down. This one kills yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Put it. We'll put it on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, it, there you probably have code names for for the different uh, the different styles um, of them. So and, and there's definitely not just like one of each, but what you downloaded to that hard drive, like you said, you wiped the servers, you you downloaded everything onto one drive that's going to get transferred, um, or one set of, uh, of drives that's going to get transferred. Um, so as far as you're aware, that's the only copy that exists um, digitally. Um, the So there's probably like a folder where, you know, it's like, um uh i i mean i don't know like like uh uh hopper you you or ollie had mentioned gorgon earlier so you know you have like uh gorgon basilisk and that's the code name for the one that kills you um and uh there's a different code name for the one that paralyzes you there's a different code name for the one that just makes you kind of sick uh that kind of thing so if you deleted the folder that had all of the lethal basilisks in it they're gone unless uh, you have uh unless you have printouts or copies uh like uh you know so something that that the riddler would like like a you know uh, you you have your you have your like cork you have your like foam board with the the <laughs> printout of it right mm -hmm. but all, all of that stuff would uh would be in the lock boxes as well. I will I know which ones are the lethal ones. I will delete those. The rest belong to me and I will credit Ed. And what's to stop you from uh showing us one of these images the second we get into these boxes? You take no, all the money. Two of you. I'm not gonna kill Ollie or Ed. Jesus. Why does that matter? You want to be a villain, don't you? This is yeah, what you but, said. I mean, I did, you know, program the scrambler. I, uh, I guess, quick question: Would those be like goggles or like what? I think it's a program. Like or from what you... David described, I. Th think it's a program that literally just rearranges the image okay 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 yeah sorry yeah. i didn't realize if it was i get it's just a program that rearranges it to let you look at it safely it yeah. doesn't prevent you from if the image is shown to you like okay. yeah right if there's a physical one out in the world like a like again if there's a printout um you are not uh at least currently aware of uh, of any way except like you have to look away from it as quickly as possible. So I have, um, so I'm using the engineer playbook. Um, I have a special ability called inventor. Um, yep. uh, I guess could I, so that means I gain um, one dice when rolling to craft a gadget or software um, or fill one extra segment on a clock when creating a complex device. So could I work on making some modified like scramble goggles like is that something i could start a clock for yes yeah it, that it, it's definitely going to be like a clock project it's going to be a, yeah, a project that, that i figured that yeah takes some time uh but ed you're reasonably sure based on what you know about these things that you you think there's probably a way to do it the trick awesome. is, you without the actual basilisk, you don't have any way to test it. Yeah, that's that's true. Mm. Yeah, so um, let's let's start a clock for it. Uh, clock, Ed makes uh, basilisk uh, defeating goggles. Um, and I think what you what you realize uh, pretty quickly, Ed, as you're as you're thinking about this, is it would work like um, it would work like 3D glasses, 
So what nice. you would do is if you can find the right um, the right color uh, uh, and polarity of filter, you could put those into some lenses that um, would filter out certain parts of the image because it would block out certain colors and certain angles, right, of the image mm -hmm. um, in, in such a way that would probably render it harmless because as far as you're aware, you do need the entire image. A piece of the image is not sufficient if the image is not arranged in the right order, which is what you did with the with the scrambler software. That's not sufficient, right? Uh, but um, yeah, that's uh, I think that's that's probably what occurs to you if you can find the right lens uh, to to filter out parts of these images. You could create um, a an anti basilisk glasses uh, or or goggles. Okay, um, so I'm gonna start. And... Oh, I was gonna ask you to to make an initial roll. Uh, Ooh, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. See how far you you get the the clock. Now, as as the light bulb comes up over your head. All right. So my roll in, is that Tinker, I guess. Uh, yeah, I would say Tinker. You're either you're either starting to mentally tinker with this idea, or you are uh you are you're studying your memory for what you know uh, about the about the basilisks to kind of come up with the uh with the initial idea mm, i'll study my memory how about that okay. um all right you'll have to tinker later for sure oh for sure, sure. yeah yeah uh, and this is this is a fortune roll i think oh so does that mean does that it, limit the it numbers? just means that uh, you're you're just rolling with your study rating, and we're not going to add or subtract any additional dice. Okay. Can I add like m my dice from the inventor ability? The uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, if you if you get dice from that, that counts for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, highest rolls of five. So that's that is the offer. Can we get just clarification for like a rough estimate of dollar amount? Um, I what I can say as a player is that I have the ability wheel and deal, which is when your group completes a job, you gain plus one funds. Mm. So um, do we yeah. have an estimate on funds? Yeah, I want I want an estimate. I, I need I need a numbers estimate. Um, this is uh, in terms of the abstracted funds uh that you're getting um i think this is probably a three to four fund job and how would that translate into like real world amount uh good would question it be safe to say it's yeah like at least a quarter million dollars feels like more than that yeah uh, at least now that's if you can to be if, clear, if, grab if, every single box in there. If we finesse every box. Fuck. I we mean, gotta find out who the fuck he sold those things to. I literally, I can't turn that down. I... Look, Look, I don't know. The point is, whoever fucking bought it, they're never gonna get it. How do um, we know it hasn't already been transferred? Uh... Because I didn't transfer them. Fair enough. Uh, oh, also, I should probably tell you wh where we're doing this. Um, uh, our current location is at uh, the Ace Chemicals headquarters. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, good there's always. gonna be... Oh, 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 no. oh is that a problem? How long no, no, has that been there? Riddler shit at Ace. Yeah, a while. Like oh. Ed, Ed, you're you're well aware of this. This is where you went to work as well. So a couple years, a few years, like probably as long as I've been there. It's just gross in there. Okay. Um. Honestly, I'm not gonna not question that. Yeah, is uh, you you good? 
Ollie, you okay? Yeah, I, um, you know, I've been keeping my ear to the ground and, um, uh, a little, uh, little fish told me that, uh, the, some of the scientists that were working on Ivy on the dock, they were from Ace Chemical. Are you still with Ivy? I still am employed with Dr. Isley, yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. I feel like Ed and Jackie exchange a, a look while like Jackie's rolling her eyes. Look. Yes. Adam dot 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 like dot dot dot. Yeah, sorry, but it's right, okay. I, I'll I'll get it right. Um No, I mean both are correct, but one is more correct. I I hear you. Um yep. all good. Look, I know I dragged you into some shit back in the day. And I owe you. And I'm not gonna lie, I need the money. Look, I, 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 sorry, sorry, Ollie. No, no, go ahead. I I didn't mean to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, go ahead, Ed. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I helped work on this thing. I, I can't let this get on the streets, you know? I just, I just can't. Um, Adam, I uh, dot dot dot. You, hmm? you know, uh, I, 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 I can vouch for him. He's a, he's a good man. Man, uh, <laughs> Ed stops himself from saying "kid." He's a good, a good man, and uh, you know, we, I think we can all relate to having um dreams and goals for ourselves um but we i I can't let this get on the streets and i i need that money so we got ollie we got ed becky i think this is a stupid fucking idea but I can't make any decisions now. It's not just okay. We could for me to decide. uh, We we could flip for it. I don't know. Just fucking like it doesn't have to be a whole deal. You don't have to say yes right now. It's just Uh, it's fine. Snay on the it play. (laughs) Oh fuck! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you probably fucking hate that guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's on me. No. Oh. <laughs> you seem young to this business. You think you're gonna roll up, hire a bunch of professionals, get your money, get your credit, and head on out to uh, your start of villainy? Your yeah. little fame and fortune bid? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that attitude is exactly what gives me a little bit of pause. Now, listen, I agree. I don't want that shit, like, out in the world. And I'm not gonna lie, that money would be really helpful, but, uh... I mean, come on! Look, okay. I'm, I... We we do... We get this shit off the... Off... Out of the control of a dickhead like the Riddler. No offense to you two. Um... No, no, no. We no. kick him in the junk. We take his money. And we make sure that somebody like the Joker never gets his fucking creepy little gloved paws on it. Look, I can give exactly. you a tentative maybe right now. Okay. I'm not saying no. That's I'm fine. Not saying yes. Yeah, just. How I'm... soon do we have to move? I don't know, tomorrow? So soon. Okay. Yeah. Do okay. we do we have dot, maps? Dot, dot. Do we have know, gear? What uh, know, what's up, Dan? Uh, what you do know about the timeline is the Riddler told you that the stuff is sold, and it's gonna be out of there by the end of the week. Yeah, this is like soon, soon. It's gonna be gone by the end of the week. So 
now or never. I, not to rush your judgment on whether you join us or not, but like this, this is a now or never kind of deal. Jackie. But, you, you, but it doesn't start until tomorrow. Yeah, Ed? I know, I know this is a big ask, uh, especially after I just spent all day in your apartment. Uh, yeah, you know, we can talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. Interrupting your domestic bliss, um, but uh, I, I, I really, uh, I think I gets a little choked up. I, uh, I, I need your help on this one, Jackie. Uh, I can't. Uh, I, we. <laughs> I, I I need you. Um, I'm not doing too hot. Um, I'm living in the safe house, and I mean, I just I I really need this, and I need your help, Jackie. And after this, I can, you know, I, I, hell, I'll give you most of my portion too, yeah. if if. If that if that helps, I just need a little bit of it, you know, set myself up with somewhere to live. Uh, Jackie puts a hand on your shoulder and she looks over at Adam. I'm in. But you pull any funny business, any at all, and you're out. I'm. I don't do jokes. That's, uh, and I don't do riddles. That's not my forte. And I don't do them either. And I don't give second chances. Okay. All right. It's the real deal, bro. This isn't the. Uh, this isn't penny ante, our heist. This isn't breaking in to the bank and spraying the walls. This isn't anything like that. This is this is the real deal. And it's gonna get the Riddler hot on your case. Um, you know, I, I got away with leaving because I'm pretty sure he's still, he's, he just never learned my name. So I'm actually not even sure if he noticed I was gone. Um, but uh, you know, you art director you're the top dog uh this is gonna bring some heat on you i i mean yeah not just from ben not just from the riddler but also from all the people you know we're stealing this from i just i know you can Dude. handle it i know you i obviously know you can handle it just you know gotta gotta go over the you know risk and reward so uh, is no, there an, is you're, you're right? Is there any way to find out who bought this shit? I'm pretty sure the Riddler's the only guy who would know. Well, I the Riddler to... doesn't the Riddler. Uh, he's still doing all his work on the blockchain, isn't he? Oh God! <laughs> oh, are these are these also those nift, uh, nifty nifty uh, um, no. NFTs? Thank you. I don't want to talk is this about that it. shit? It's, oh, God. It's, her, it's horrendously embarrassing. That I'm not proud. Okay, it's I. Uh, it was company <laughs> mandated. I didn't. I didn't want to be a part of it. I don't. I don't even like fucking regular cryptocurrency. I don't even understand how it works. So it's well, not good. I'll tell you that. Um, no, it's basically imagine like we could just scam. find out who's buying once we're at headquarters. Yeah. Well, I mean, Eddie can hack in. I don't you know, know if that's uh, even all something that would be. transactions are public record on the blockchain if you know where to look. Sounds like a bad system. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's a really bad it's not system. Great. What a stupid! What a stupid idea to like have all of your documents just be easily accessible like that. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. Just right there, and you can't. It's on the blockchain. You can't ever take it off. It's it's weird. Like it's a weird system, you know. But uh, ah. if you know the right wallets, you know where to look. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> the, if it, 
I'm not sure if it was purchased through there or if it was a, a purely in person with cash transaction this sale. So, well, who? That's a real gamble. I don't know if we'll even find anything related to it. But if you want to look, that's fine. I'm just saying, don't, don't, don't bet all your cookies in the shed on it. Hey, you know what? You know, it's a plan of attack. You know, we'll check that out. That doesn't work. We'll hit the streets. Uh, David. Um, yep. Can I check the blockchain? Uh, okay. So here is, th this is, you can do this. It's going to be complicated. Uh, okay. What you're going to have to do, what you're going to have to do is, um, you would have to, hack into um you would have to hack into the riddler's crypto wallet um and you would have to actually no you would have to f i think you would have to find the buyer's crypto wallet so you would have to find the buyer's wallet um you would have to then find the token the crypto token that they used to transfer uh you know to to transfer the money right back and forth um and you would have to then link the specific wallet on that token ledger back to the riddler and then figure out whose wallet this token ended up in so it, it's basically a lot part. of backtracking you you I, the the difficult part is going to be just finding uh a a crypto wallet and then backtracking it and linking it to somebody's uh actual identity well and that's complicated by the fact that um like adam said you don't necessarily know if this was a crypto transaction. Um, so I'm going to say that this is also, this is a project and it's complicated. Um, so I will set you, um, I will set you, it's going to be like an eight clock. It's, it's going to be pretty complicated. Um, Let's get started. Ed, okay, so clock. Ed finds ID of Riddler's uh, buyer via crypto. Uh, and this is an eight clock. Um, I'm yeah. surfing the blockchain. So Getting some more kombucha. Yeah. Um, so again, we'll we'll set we'll set an initial roll um, that you can do right now as you have had the idea. And this will sort of kick off the clock's initial state, and then you're going to have to continue working on it, probably for quite a while. So you know this might be something that you actually have to work on as you're going in the heist in the background. Okay, um, uh, I guess that's tinker, right? Yeah, you're 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 tinkering with the uh, you're tinkering with the blockchain here. So, yeah, uh, uh, Maddie, I'm gonna throw it to you as well for what the hell these crypto things are called. What 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 is the disgusting thing that they're oh, yeah. on the Oh, the anymore? tokens. What are the, oh, what are the tokens Jesus called? Jesus Christ! Um, oh, it's got to be just abs something like absolutely just insipid. Insipid, yeah. Oh no, I don't know. Something to do with like. I'm trying to think, like, a question, apes, question mark, Rid mm. Riddler rats, Riddle rats, okay. mm. I hate, Somebody, I hate the idea of them being called rats. That's insulting to rats. It should be, it should be something coin or something bucks, because we're definitely talking about a, a proprietary Riddler cryptocurrency. Oh my right? god, it's, it's gotta be, like, Riddle me bits. Riddle. Oh no! Yes, that's Chef's kiss perfection. perfection. Oh no! Riddle me bits. Riddle me bits. God. Riddle me bits. I 
I think, yeah, that's gotta be it. Mm. Yep. Sorry, that that sprung fully formed into my goddamn mind. Hopper, <laughs> Hopper, that was one of the worst and best things that you have ever said on this stream. Uh. <laughs> You should feel so proud and so ashamed. I do. I feel both. This is, this is your brain child. Okay. Uh. I will call this um I will call this an, an action roll. Um because you are now going up against uh Riddler, Riddler's level two. Um so uh he's got one level on you, so you've got your tinker rating, you're down one to start. Okie dokie. You can push yourself, uh, take a devil's bargain. I think I'll just push myself. How many right. stress is that? Is it two? Two. two. Okay. Two for one D six. Alrighty. To the moon, am I right, guys? Oh. I'm begging you guys. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Well, uh, I think very aptly, um, uh, it is a three and a one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right. Okay, so zero out of eight segments filled on uh, on your clock to figure out uh, uh, Riddler's buyer via crypto. Um, and, uh, There's yeah, a lot I of mean, stuff it, on the blockchain, huh? It has to get worse. So, um, I'm going to say, Ed, that your initial investigations, um, you, you realize, like, as you start, uh, as you start your, you know, you just sort of bring up your phone on the, on the side while you're talking just to see, you know, do a, a preliminary browse through, um, you, to browse, need a, a, a token identifier, right? Um, and uh, I think I think the way that you you start going about this is the way that you, I think in order to hack into a crypto wallet, one of the one of the good ways to do it is you send somebody a coin, right? So you spoof a coin, you send it to a bunch of different wallets, right? And uh, you are trying to do it in such a way that nobody knows that you've dropped this in their crypto wallet. Everybody notices. Oh, so that wasn't you, good. <laughs> yeah, so you realize instantaneously, shit, I just tipped off a ton of people that somebody is potentially examining their wallets. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I just put my phone away. Well, that's something to look at later, maybe. Hmm. That. Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I don't Where worry. are we meeting? Um, let's meet. Ah, uh, what's what's nearby? He's, um, I don't know. Yeah. So here's here's a question for the group. Um, the Ace Chemicals HQ. This is where the entrance to Riddler's, um, uh, base is. Uh, Riddler's corporate offices. Um. Do we think that, uh, how do we think it's situated with regards to uh, Ace Chemical Corporate HQ? Is it in, is it actually in the tower? Does Riddler have some floors in the tower? Is it a tunnel into a completely different area? Does it go underneath the, the tower? Does it go to, you know, is the entrance here, but it goes to a different part of town? Uh, what are y'all feeling? And also, where in Gotham is uh, the Ace Chemicals uh, headquarters building located? This is uh, probably a, a not insubstantial skyscraper. Is this like Ace headquarters or the factory itself? This would be Ace corporate. Okay, so, so yeah, downtown. Yeah, then. so Ace, Ace has probably. a number of different facilities throughout the city. There are there are factories, there are chemical plants, right? Um, some more notable than others. And uh, they they have um, some labs throughout the city and they do have their sort of main 
corporate HQ, and that's the building that uh, that uh, has the entrance to Riddler's base. So yeah, what are, what are we thinking? I think it makes sense for it to be in the financial district. Yep. Yeah. Just right in the heart of like Gotham proper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So downtown financial district. Uh, it's one of the one of the sort of main skyscrapers. There's like down a there. goth box right over there. We meet yeah, there. Let's yeah. Just, let's just meet at goth box. That works. Okay. Uh, I will be able to guide you guys through a lot of it. A lot of the you know, situations and that I know people so I can keep them distracted or maybe we could pull a I caught you guys outside what the fuck are you doing here and I'm bringing you in kind of shit and then let you loose. Well, I don't both know. of you technically, I mean, Ed would the Riddler even care if he, you just rolled on up? I mean, you said yourself that he might not even have noticed that you were gone. Maybe uh, we're the new hires. Yeah, Ollie that's... And I. That, that that is true there is one thing though uh he m may not know me but i do think that the sight of my face incites some sort of like instinctual anger response in him <laughs> um so like this happened when i mean uh that 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 you remember right like uh we'd be i'd be like in there working you know i'd be mm -hmm. like just you know doing my work you know cribbing right in the lab um. No, As don't they say that. Say, um, <laughs> don't say cribbing, and, please. And, and, and he'd walk in and he'd be like, he'd be like, how'd you get in here? What, what, what are you doing? What, like, who are you? And I'd be like, I, Mr. Mr. Enigma, like, I, I work for you. I come, I'm in here every day. And he'd, he, uh, he'd be like, I, where's your ID card? Like, it was the whole thing. So, But we can hmm. get you an ID card. It doesn't matter if he's mad at you. You right, probably no, I'm just still saying. have your old ID card at home, Ed, because yeah. you the reason that you stopped uh, working for the Riddler is um, you got arrested. Like, you got picked up, That's true. right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, you decided not to go back, but you didn't, like, tender your resignation. So, you know, you, you might ha still have your key card kicking around somewhere. I'm just saying that we go in quiet. You can get us past the gods. We have access to the building. Yeah, I can get you past. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be Pound or Bullet who's going to be, you know, guarding the main entrance or maybe Slash. I don't know what Carrot's up to. I don't know. Maybe, Carrot's probably going to be nearby the place we're trying to break into. Um, look, look, look. I can handle, you know, muscle. That's fine. But I'd okay. prefer that we like get in quietly. If we're getting out and it's a little bit louder, that hey, that's yeah. nothing. Um, also, the the door to the room that has all the shit, it's not like a regular lock. It's not even a fancy like high tech lock. It's a fucking puzzle box. Oh yeah, um, sure, of course it is. Uh, but I designed it. Excuse you. Oh great, great. So you can open it. So you know how to open it. No, um, <laughs> it's yeah. You designed the look of it. I designed uh, it. Adam. I didn't. I didn't program it. That's Ed. Okay. And Ed hasn't been there for like however we can, long. We he can decided figure out. Show up. We can figure yeah. out locks, and if we don't, I how long does it take me to get some explosives? Yeah, uh, I think you probably have one other suggestion uh, about the lock, which is y you are aware that uh, this puzzle is programmed on a rotating basis by Riddler's head of security. Oh, fucking, yeah, we're gonna have to talk to, or I'm gonna have to talk to Carrot probably about the lock because it, it's like, do you guys know about, have you guys seen um, that fucking movie with Benedict Cumberbatch? It's the one with, uh, it's in World War II, he plays Alan Turing. What the hell How is it called? How much time do you think uh, we have on our hands to go see movies? <laughs> I don't know. Money? I thought... The imitation game. So basically, Alan Turing, during World War II, he made this machine called Enigma, uh, which basically, like, tried to, like, decode uh, Nazi-coded uh, messages that, like, changed every single day. Um, uh, and 
Uh, so basically, we are. I need to go in and talk to Kara and figure out what the hell the code is so that I can actually break in and get the shit. Is that okay. going to be a problem? It shouldn't be, because I know Kara, and I'm just going to be going in for, for reasons. Um, yeah, you got to treat it. You got to listen. You got to treat it like you're just doing a regular day at work or this whole thing is going to go to hell really fast. Yeah, you got this. And then we'll just be waiting in the wings. You know, I think we'll probably get in without much fuss. Yeah, no, if we need right. to get in from if the door is not an option. Can we come in from above above or below? Uh, You should be able to get in through a sometimes I have to use a subway tunnel to get in. If you know, Ace, Ace, I mean, to the room, the and... I mean, to the room, the place to the room the... itself, yeah. What, what's is it reinforced? Is it a is it is it most vault? definitely reinforced? How reinforced is it? The, plastic the door is explosive reinforced. The door is the only way in, there is no ventilation. That seems like a safety hazard, but okay, it most certainly uh, is. I think we go that we 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 go through the front door. And we try to attract as little attention as possible. We get in and we get out. And, you know, if there's any trouble, well, that's why I'm there. You should and get Jackie. some ace credentials. What? Uh, as as you say that, uh, you hear a bit of a commotion uh, outside. You hear a whoop, whoop. Uh, and... Uh, you all turn to see uh, Scraps very hurriedly uh, wheeling into the uh, into the garage. Cops just showed up. We're getting you out of here. Oh fuck! Kids Get the hell out of here. Book it and fast. We'll meet uh, tomorrow at Gothbucks. Gothbucks I'm, I'm tomorrow. I'm gone. I'm instantly gone. I'm not fucking around with that. I, yeah, I, and you Ollie can see. Literally, Ollie literally hits the button. That opens up the false wall in the garage. Perfect. And this is because again, this is where the, we're in the building where the secret exit tunnel is. It's uh, you, uh it's dark. Just get in. Uh, there's a flashlight somewhere over there for anybody who needs one. I take some kombucha to go. <laughs> I gotta. I actually gotta go back to headquarters. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Oh yeah, you're not like wanted by the cops or anything, huh? No. I mean, for like minor charges of like defacing a public building but whatever all right well, jackie's already booked it yep and yeah come okay. on uh, how many bottles of kombucha can you possibly drink um <laughs> you uh you know you'd be surprised i can pack this stuff away it just has uh, like a right. handful uh, like an armful of them all right get in the fucking tunnel and, uh, okay, Ollie, okay. Jeez. Ollie get shoves, yes. Start Ed shoving the Ed through the through Jeez. the escape tunnel. Uh, is it just the, the three of you? Um, Adam, are you are you staying out or are you um, or are you going into the tunnel as well? Oh, I'm 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 just headed back out onto the streets and making my way back to Ace. Okay, are you going through are you just gonna walk through the front gate of the yard? Because that is, you can see as you look out, uh, Scraps is like turned around uh, uh, and he's like, you better book it, kid. Um, I know how to get around. Uh, and, and he's he's wheeling to meet the cops who are getting out of their cruisers and walking through the front gate of the yard yeah. uh, and approaching Scraps. Uh, Adam is going to be scaling up nearby buildings and like going from rooftops across to get out of sight rather than going down. Okay, cool. Um, I want to get, uh, I want to get a group roll from everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, Jackie, Ollie, Ed, uh, let's, uh, why don't you roll with your, um, with your maneuver ratings? Um, uh, Adam, mm -hmm. dot, 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 you, I think, uh, probably skulk. Actually, a anybody can roll either skulk or maneuver. Then it'd be okay. the same. I'm going to roll maneuver then. And is okay. it just, uh, 
do we have a do the cops have a level on us or is this uh the cops are level one so you're at level with the you're at level with these cops um four and a six six Ooh, i got a five okay cool so um so if everybody pays one stress the sixes will count for the group and you will get away clean in whichever direction you're going easily done cool Uh, all right. So as uh, as you um, as you sort of close the uh, is it like a hatch to the the getaway tunnel? Would you say? I think it's. Uh, I think uh, there's just another button that causes the fake wall to lower back down. Cool. So you you hit the button. The wall starts lowering. Um, uh, dot dot dot. You uh, book it out of the side door of the garage uh, and start climbing up and over the uh, the car towers uh, very nimbly. Um, and I think all of you uh, do catch the the very beginning of the conversation uh, with uh, Scraps and the uh, the officers. Uh, you 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 know you catch catch Scraps saying. Uh, Oh, good evening, officers. What can I do for you? And uh, one of the officers uh, is saying, uh, hey there, we got a report of a vandal at the Gotham Zoo earlier today and uh, just got a call in of somebody matching that description uh, in this neighborhood. Uh, Tank top, baggy pants, purple beanie. uh, You see anybody like that around? And... That is all you catch before uh, you, uh, before the door closes, and uh, Adam, before you vault uh, over the wall onto the other side of the street. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. Hooray! Hell yeah! Woohoo! All right. Well, thank you, folks, for joining us on Manapot Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're also on YouTube.com slash Manapot Studios. You can head over there to watch past games, including our entire season one arc. Uh, Once again, I've been David. You can check out my tabletop RPGs at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, which is the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing right here uh, on this stream. I'm also on Instagram, Mastodon, Hive, and other social media at Brutman. Look for me there if you want to follow other stuff that I do. And with that, uh, I will uh, have the rest of the cast uh, give their outros, shoutouts, and plugs. Hey, everybody. Um, I am not drinking too much kombucha. Um, I have just finished playing this amazing game. Woo! Um... You can find me on socials at Cellar Tater, like a tater tot in a cellar, or check out my website, maddiecourtney.com. Um, and yeah, this is really great. Looking forward to the next episode. Things are happening. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited to be a just piece of shit disaster. Hey, y'all. Uh, I am Marcy, uh, a.k.a. Experimental Madness, once again. Um, I, too, am also looking forward to when we play again. And in the meantime, you can catch all the other shows that Metapod Studios does. We've got The Hole in the World, or Invisible Sun podcast. We've got Flights of Fandom every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can also catch up with all of the past Streets of Gotham episodes, along with so many other shows on our YouTube channel, So you should give that a watch, give us a like maybe, and maybe comment on some of the videos you've watched. Uh, And that's going to be it for me this week. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm Andre. You can find me at Andre Rivera Art on Twitter and Instagram, as well as at my official website, AndreRivera.art, which has my illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual play series that I'm in, including The Atomless Tragedy Theologian, Unicorn Hunt, Red Lion, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Uh, my pronouns are he, they, and I just played Adam, dot, 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 and his pronouns are he, him. Still me, still Hopper. Um, I have been and will continue to be. Um, I have been playing Ollie, uh, the getaway driver, and I am now going to return to my real life of being a metaphorical criminal, a word criminal, if you will. 
Um, but uh, if you were looking to find more of my content, you can... Holy shit, everything's so bright. Um, <laughs> you can find uh, me <laughs> under uh, Fail Deadly. That is with a three instead of an E. If you want bad hot takes and dumb jokes. Um, and if you are looking for better quality content, you can find me under The Legendary and also on a bunch of shows on this here network. Um, notably Fast and the Furious. All right, then that's going to do it for us for Streets of Gotham here on Manipod Studios. We will see you next time.